Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Weapon Tutorial. And in today's video, I'm going to run you through the basics of the Lance. Now the Lance is a great and powerful weapon if used in the right hands, but if you're new to Monster Hunter, then it may take a little bit of practice to get used to. At first, you may feel like you can't move around too much and this weapon's a little bit sluggish, but that is not true. When used in the right way, this is an extremely mobile weapon. You just need to think about it slightly differently. First up, the Lance has really good reach, relatively simple attacks, and the most powerful shield in the game. And to combat that sluggish feeling you might have encountered when you first picked up this weapon, you can even zigzag to move around a hell of a lot quicker. So first up, let's begin with the basic moves. With your weapon sheathed, if you run forward and press X, then you'll do a forward lunge. Now you won't be using this too much because for the most part you'll have your weapon out, but you can also replicate that move by pressing forward and X, like so. Now the Lance's moves are generally done in threes. You can press X to thrust forward, and you can press X three times to do three thrusts, like so. You can also press A to do an upward thrust, and again you can do this in threes. One, two, three. And if you want, you can even combine these how you see fit. You can go X and then A and then X, or you could go A and then X and then A. You can mix it up however you see fit. But do bear in mind that if you can, the first two upwards A attacks are the most powerful. So if you're in a position where you can use them, then make sure you do. However, it won't always be viable. Sometimes the monster will be on the ground, sometimes they'll be lower down, and you can't always use an upwards attack. So do learn to mix and match your moves based on your circumstances. If you press X and A together, you'll do a lance swipe. You can also combo into this from your X attack. Like so. You probably won't be using that move too much. It's more so for clearing smaller monsters, but it's still worth noting. So with the basic moves out of the way, let's talk about evading, because this is going to form a key part of your lance strategy. First up, with your weapon out, if you press B, you'll hop backwards. And you can also do this straight after an attack, like so. Pressing B after an attack will reset your combo. So you can begin by going 1, 2, 3, hop back, 1, 2, 3. And similarly, if you do one attack, that will also do the same thing. Hop, 1, hop, like so. And just like the Lance attacks, you can also chain three hops together. 1, 2, 3. And if you input a sideways direction on the circle pad, you can also change the direction of your hop. Back across, back, or back, across, across, like so. So you can see that despite what seemed like a heavy clunky weapon at the beginning can actually be quite mobile and you can cover quite a bit of ground with your evasion hops. Do obviously note that like any weapon, rolling and evading and hopping will use your stamina bar, so do be mindful if you want to chain together three hops, you can only do it while you've got enough stamina. Now believe it or not, one of the main uses for your hop will not actually be to evade, but will simply be to reset your combo. If you're in a position where there's an opening on a monster, maybe they're trapped, maybe they're down, or maybe you've just got an opening in their animation, then you won't always want to just get out of three attacks. Instead, you might want to do your first three attacks, hop to the side, continue to attack again, hop to the side again, and continue this until the opening goes away. Also, something else to bear in mind. This may be a little counterintuitive at first, but if you want to chase a monster with a lance, one thing you could also do is turn around and hop backwards. You cover quite a bit of ground, and if you do have an evade plus skill, then you'll cover even greater ground. There are other means to cover great ground with this weapon, and I'll cover that in just a second, but still do bear in mind that if you do need to move quickly, you're better off facing backwards and hopping backwards. So that's your basic moves and a little bit on evading. Now let's talk about the oh-so-famous shield. If you hold down R, you will guard. And with your weapon sheathed, you can hold down R and press X and A together to draw into a guard. With your shield up, you can actually move around. Now this is extremely slow, so you're not going to be going anywhere fast, but it is still worth noting if you do need to advance towards an enemy, you can use this as an option. What you're better off doing, if you're trying to work your way towards an enemy, is whilst holding forward and guarding, if you press X, you'll do a shield advance. And what's more, you can even chain this with your hops. If I begin by doing a shield advance, sidestep, shield advance, I can then cover a little bit more ground. What's more, is your shield advance will also go through attacks. If you press X after a shield advance, you'll do a shield bash. Like so. This does stun damage, so you can use this to knock out enemies. And you can even go into your thrust combos after your shield bash like that. Speaking of attacks, whilst guarding, if you press X while you're standing still, you'll do a poke. Next up, if you press R, X and A together, you'll begin a charge. You can adjust the direction slightly with your circle pad. Whilst charging, you'll either do it until you run out of stamina, you hit a wall or a hard part of a monster, or you stop it yourself. If you press X during a charge, you'll do a lunge or a thrust. If you press B during a charge, you'll come to a halt. But if you press forward and B, you'll actually do a jump. But it gets better. During that jump, you can even press X in the air to do a forward thrust. And what's more, you can even use that to mount a monster. Now during this charge, you will land multiple hits, but your sharpness will take a beating, so again, do be mindful of this. Now the other big draw of the Lance is its ability to counter. If you guard and press A, you'll enter this stance. 
This is your counter stance. If you take damage during this phase, you will counter the attack. If you don't, then you will still unleash this forward thrust. You can also combo into a counter by pressing R and A during a combo. Now lastly, let's talk jump attacks. If you press X while jumping off a ledge, you do a forward thrust. Alternatively, if you perform a shield advance off a ledge, you'll guard all the way down. And if you time it right, you can land a shield bash when you land. Or alternatively, you can interrupt the guard with a stab or a thrust. And that, my friends, is all I have for you. That is your brief overview for the Lance. It's an extremely powerful weapon, but will take some practice to get used to. Your advantages with this weapon are your extremely long reach and your ability to pinpoint a section on the monster. Now, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the like button down below and show your support. It does really help us out. And obviously, don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming videos and much more Monster Hunter coverage. If you have any questions, then do drop them down in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Or alternatively, if there is a weapon that I haven't covered yet that you want to see, then do let me know and I will try and prioritize that one. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.